Here's a poll from 9 to 5 Mac. Would you prefer an iPhone with Touch ID under the screen or on the power button? Oh, an interesting little an interesting little decision here. Mm -hmm. I know people have been resistant to the idea of an in-display fingerprint scanner mm -hmm. on the iPhone for whatever reason. I mean, we see it all over the place elsewhere. Um, and you used one before. In How reliable is it? Aren't, don't you use it as well? <laughs> I do use oh, it. Yeah, I'll yeah, give yeah. you my opinion. I just want to hear yours. It's an, So when when the marketplace transitioned from the like rear-mounted fingerprint scanner to the in-display, um, or obviously you had you had it on the front when you used to have a bezel on the phone, I did recognize that it was a little bit less responsive than the rear-mounted. Um, it just you had to just be a slightly more deliberate about your placement, but it is something you totally get the hang of. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you, but, but but for me, many times what I would do is I would just enable like a dual system, so I would have the in display unlock and the face unlock turned on, and whichever triggered first, yes, I would unlock via that. Um, it is a cool technology in a sense that from when you first see it, you're like, wow, how did they mm -hmm. manage such a thing under the display? So there was a, a slight novelty factor there. But then I've used the side-mounted button ones too, and I'm okay with that. And they actually function, at least in my experience, a little bit more like a rear-mounted uh, fingerprint scanner. So I don't feel super strongly in either direction here. The only thing I would say is at the moment... Apple does have a button fingerprint scanner on the iPad there, yes. which you're showing the picture of. It does not have an in-display fingerprint scanner. Mm -hmm. So there is some experience and expertise there. And all, all I can think is that maybe the in-display stuff is just not up to their criteria. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, there's been reports in the past of people recording their fingerprint with a screen protector on on there and then having it unlocked unknowingly because the, it was originally recorded through... You know what I'm saying? There, yes. It's not yep. absolutely perfect. So maybe there's a feeling that the in-button one is ever so slightly more secure. Oh, we have some results from the poll. Even <laughs> yeah, better. I, I mean, <laughs> the audience of this show, they can vote, but 9to5Mac has some pretty decent numbers on the responses. 48% want it under the screen and 29% want it on the power button. 18% mm -hmm. say, I just want face ID, leave me alone. 3% uh, say they want touch ID on the back of the phone and 1% said other. So I don't know why you can reply other with such a yeah. poll like this. I have to go <laughs> read your comment now. 10,000 votes. So that's significant. Um, okay. I mean, People under, want the the screen. Screen. under the screen is way better. Like it looks cool too it's like it's sleek I, I guess with the power button it's sleek as well but the idea of it i think know, i think for me less, it was uh, more it was just more around the fact that they've avoided it for so long and uh, assuming that there's some reason for it that it didn't it wasn't a good fit for them meet their requirements i don't maybe. know that's only that's where my thinking came from and the fact that they put out the the non in display the button base for the iPad but i yeah if if i was to start from scratch with none of not considering what they have and haven't done to this point in display makes the most sense cuz the rest of the market did it for mm -hmm. the the vast majority of the market has done it yeah so yeah interesting